You think you know butternut squash, but you have no idea. We're gonna make butternut squash the focal main ingredient for those of us that don't wanna eat meat or for those of us that just want something a little bit different. This is not gonna be your average butternut squash dish. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. We'll eat well and save money, because that's what we do. Welcome to Struggle Meals. Do the bite and slam technique. This is the hardest part. Come in with a spoon. We're gonna add some olive oil to it, salt and pepper. I'm gonna bake this until it's soft, but still has structure from the skin. While that bakes, I'm gonna work on my filling with wild rice, with all kinds of herbs and different vegetables. Got a stalk of celery here. Split it in half the long way. And now we'll just choo-choo train. Roughly chop our garlic. Onion! Take the top off. Split it in half through the pole. Little pieces like that. The stock bucket is the perfect place for us to put organic matter that we can turn into broths for future flavor enhancement. Butter goes in the pan. Let's load our vegetables in there. Get some onion, celery and garlic, a little salt and pepper. All right, we're gonna use a wild rice blend. It makes the whole thing more affordable and it gives you a really nice chew. Water going in. We're gonna add even more flavor in the form of fresh herbs. I like to grow my own because I pay for them once and they continue to give me dividends in the form of free flavor. We got some thyme, some sage, fennel. We've got some fennel seeds right here. I'm gonna show you how you can extract the maximum flavor out of them. Starts with a clean kitchen towel. And now the Fennel Destroyer 4000. <laughs> AKA a hammer. Look at that! This is a great way to break things up without a mortar and pestle. Fennel seeds are going in. Contain the thyme into the sage leaf. All right, this is going in. We're also gonna hit this with a little bit of onion powder. We're up to a boil. Now I'm gonna turn it down to low, cover it, and cook it for about 45 minutes. We're gonna add a few more things to our rice once it's done, so let's prepare those now. We've got some almonds, some dried cranberries. We'll chop these up. Start with the cranberries, because they're easier. It smells like Thanksgiving. Let's put this filling together. Almonds going in, cranberries going in, some breadcrumbs going in. We're gonna add some fresh parsley, parsley going in. We really want all these ingredients to bind together, so there's two ways to do that, and we're gonna use both of them. The first is by going to the packet drawer and getting some Dijon mustard. It gives us a nice, bright zing. The egg is the ultimate binder. So we'll mix this all together now, just roughly. Let's add our rice. Smells really good. So that's it, just bring it together. Don't overwork it, we don't want it to be gummy. These look great, I let them cool slightly, and now it's time to make some space for our stuffing. Very, very carefully, I'm just gonna scoop out a little bit of the inside so we have some space, but I've gotta leave some flesh in there so it doesn't fall apart can take what we've just peeled out, put it right into our stuffing. So I'll just bring it together like that. And now we stuff with the filling and we're just filling it up. We could have taken all these flavors and just chopped them up into cubes. It would have been exactly the same flavor wise, but it would have looked like a side. We're gonna make this look like a main. We're gonna take our two halves and bring them together like that. I mean, look at this. When have you ever seen a vegetable that looks like it came from a butcher. This is going back into the oven at 375 for 20 to 25 minutes. This thing is gorgeous. If you think of this as like a turkey in the middle, you know, you could dress the board. That would look great. And now I'm gonna slice into this masterpiece. This is like the turkey leg over here. Look at that. This looks awesome, it smells even better, and I can't wait to dig in. Doo -doo -doo. This show-stopping vegetarian centerpiece is only $2.18 a serving. I guess we'll just dig in. Take a nice piece right here. It really tastes like Thanksgiving. We've got those deep, rich, dark herbs, talking about sage and thyme, and it tastes sweet while being savory at the exact same time. So whether it's Thanksgiving or not, this is a great way to bring the autumn flavors in a vegetarian way. And I hope you try it.